Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're going to be working on a set called Finding Unstated Information in Fraction Problems. What does that mean? Well, sometimes just by giving you one statement that has fractions of a whole, you can find out a ton of information. Take a look at this first problem. Two fish of the 30 fish in the aquarium are clownfish. So from just this one statement, we can ask a lot of questions like, how many parts are the fish divided up into? How many fish are in each part? How many parts of the group are clownfish? How many clownfish are there in the aquarium? How many parts of the group are not clownfish? And how many fish in the aquarium are not clownfish? Yep, you can find all of that out from this one statement. Let's take a look. The first one is, how many parts are the fish divided up into? I want to draw a diagram to help us understand what's happening here. So here's my diagram, and I've got 30 fish total. But I want to break up these 30 fish into some groups, and here they told us how they broke it up. Two fifths, which means they actually broke it up into five separate groups. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and if there's five groups and there's 30 fish, we're going to do 30 divided by 5, and it'll tell us that there's six fish in each group. Six there, six there, six there, six there. I think it's six there. <laughs> okay, now our next question was, how many fish are in each part? We know there's uh, six in each part. They're in five groups. Okay, our third question was, how many parts of the group are clownfish? Well, they told us that two-fifths of the group were clownfish. So two-fifths. Here's one-fifths. Here's two-fifths. There you go. There's my two-fifths that are clownfish. And then they said, so how many parts? Two parts. Then they said, well, how many actual fish are clownfish? Well, if I've got two parts and each part has six fish in it, that must mean that two times six is 12 fish are clownfish. Okay. Now we also can find out a whole bunch of information about the fish that are not clownfish. So if I ask how many parts of this group are not clownfish, we can see that we've got three that are left. So three of the parts, one, two, three, are not clownfish. Okay, and if I want to know how many actual clownfish there are, I take a look at, there's six in each part. I've got three of those parts. Six times three and 18 are not clownfish. Okay, pretty simple, really helpful to use a diagram. Okay, and that's it. So I've got a couple practice problems for you in the practice section. Give them a try so you can practice and make sure you've got this down really well. Okay, that's it for me today. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.